Chick-fil-A inbound. Good morning, everybody. It's currently 9.03, June 4th. We're having an all-out cheat day, but today is gonna be a little bit different than all the other ones because we're strictly doing fast food. That's the only thing that I'm gonna be able to eat today. And we are starting at the one and only, the heavy hitter, Chick-fil-A. Let me tell you my exact order. I got one Chick-fil-A biscuit, one four count of Chick-fil-A minis, and one large hash brown. They gave me a Coke Zero, which they were apparently looking for. I didn't really realize, but I thought that was the iced coffee, but then she walked out with an iced coffee because I forgot my iced coffee. I'm probably not gonna drink the Coke Zero. I am extremely excited though because I have never had Chick-fil-A breakfast. Only heard good things. Yeah, that just looks epic. I also got some honey on the side. I'm going with one bite, no honey. Give you guys a rating and then I'm gonna put some honey on it and see. Sorry for my lack of enthusiasm. The first bite really had not that much flavor. It's good, but that first bite is getting a 3.5 out of five stars. It's nothing crazy. I thought it was gonna be a little bit better. Okay, let's hope I don't get any on the car. That's a lot. Wow, that is so much. Oh my gosh. That's like half the thing. Here's nothing. Mmm. That's good right there. Four stars out of five. I just thought that the chicken was gonna have a little bit more flavor because the normal chicken sandwich is super seasoned. Let's give the iced coffee a rating. I got a vanilla iced latte. I wanted to do some sort of milk, but they only had 2%. I'm lactose intolerant, so that's a no-no. It's getting a two out of five. That flavor, what is that? Yeah, not a fan. All right, I also got chicken minis, so. I'm gonna try those before I finish the sandwich. Okay. Mm hmm. But yeah, better. They have a little bit of, I think, honey on it already, because it's slightly sweet. Four out of five stars. And it's not biscuit bread, it's like a softer bread. Now, this is what I've really heard a lot about. My sisters rant and rave over them the hash browns. A little perfect circle. Mm, that's a good hash brown right there. Maybe we could use a little salt. This is going four out of five stars. I'm gonna finish the biscuit. Down in the comments, let me know what your favorite fast food breakfast is. This is one of the first places I've done fast food breakfast. Normally I would just do donuts somewhere. I can't tell if it's the vanilla part of it or just the coffee they use that just isn't that good. I'm gonna do some Polynesian sauce with some of the hash browns. This is one of my favorite sauces here at Chick-fil-A. This and Chick-fil-A sauce, but sometimes this, this beats Chick-fil-A sauce for me. I was gonna open a Chick-fil-A sauce, but I only have two more hash browns, so straight down the hatch. Overall Chick-fil-A breakfast gets like a 3.75 out of five stars. It was good, I definitely would be back. Just a little disappointed in the flavor of the biscuit sandwich and then the coffee was just gross. I'm not even gonna lie. There's no way of sugar coating it, it's just not good. Calories for meal number one will be on the screen right now. Let's do a little camera magic and go to meal number two. Could I have one blueberry cake donut? One blueberry cake donut, okay. Eh? One glazed donut. One glazed donut. One strawberry frosted. Okay, anything else? Then can I do one coffee cake muffin? And then can I do the vanilla frosted donut ice signature latte but with almond milk? It is currently 924, which shows how close Duncan is to Chick-fil-A and also how fast I eat my Chick-fil-A. Record time. Now this is what a real coffee looks like. I'm totally joking. This is wild. I just wasn't expecting this. The wild thing is, is a lot of people start their days with this. 
every day. That is good though. It's getting a four to five stars. So much better than Chick-fil-A coffee. I have never gotten a glaze from Dunkin' Donuts, or at least I don't remember getting a glaze from Dunkin' Donuts. It's just something that is not in my core memories. I guess it just never made an actual impact on me. Definitely doesn't look as good as a Krispy Kreme. Definitely doesn't look good as a salty donut one, but let's not judge before we try. Mmm. That was better than I expected. Still not better than a Krispy Kreme. If a Krispy Kreme is a five out of five, this is a 3.75 out of five. A little too doughy. Can't have a cheat day though without donuts. We're gonna be right. Now this is what I really came to Dunkin' Donuts for. This is the blueberry glazed donut. I'm gonna move you guys really quick so you can see it properly. In all its glory, this is a proper blueberry glazed donut, not the one from Krispy Kreme. Let's just go back really quick and take a look at that one because I want you to compare just, you can tell that this one is gonna be better. Last but not least for the Krispy Kreme is the blueberry glazed. It doesn't feel as good as the Dunkin' Donuts one though. Mmm. Wait. Mmm. No. It's not as good. Now let's give this one a rating. Mm. As soon as you bite into it, it's just so much. It just, it's just better. I'm not gonna use the word, the M word, but. Mm. Wow, 4.5 out of five stars. Dunkin' Donuts is not the best donut place out there by far, but they do the blueberry cake donut right. Mm. <sighs> Last but not least, we have this coffee cake muffin. I've been craving this for a while and I was gonna actually try fit it into my diet. It just never ended up happening. So I said, might as well get it on my cheat day and not have to worry about fitting it into anything other than my mouth. What did he say? We have to switch camera angles though because the camera is overheating. Then I'm the best shade in this parking lot. I don't know how I'm gonna bite into this, but we're gonna try. Uh -uh. A little bit on the drier side though, 3.75 out of 5 stars. The Trader Joe's Coffee Cake Muffin, now that is a 4.75 out of 5 stars. I'm in desperate need of a car wash tomorrow. Wait, there's crumbs. No crumb left behind. All right, we're done. It is 9.38. Meal number two done, calories will be on the screen. We're gonna go home and chill, then we go to the gym, and then I'll see you guys at lunch. I just ordered a Shake Shack, but it's kind of loud in here, so I think I'm gonna sit in the car. It's so difficult filming in restaurants. I really just wanna sit in a restaurant and enjoy with you guys, but the car's a little bit more intimate, so we can chat. It is currently 1.30 and we are at lunch now. I was in between burgers, Five Guys and Shake Shack. That is a huge debate between people. Let me know down in the comments which one you would decide. I haven't had Shake Shack in a year. This is just something that I was feeling for today. I was this close to going to Five Guys though, I won't lie to you. But last time I had Five Guys, it wasn't as good as I wanted it and I remember this one being better. That's how the cookie crumbles. Now, I got a Double Shack burger with fries and a Dr. Pepper. Usually I would get Diet Dr. Pepper or Diet Dr. Pepper Zero, but they don't have that. So we're drinking our calories today. This is the burger in all its glory. I'm not saying Shake Shack was the first to do smash patties, but they're the first smash patty I have ever had in my life. These are the fries. They have some crazy combination of fries there. I got no cheese on my burger too. I was thinking I should have brought some Chick-fil-A sauce or Polynesian sauce from this morning and used it for the fries. But uh, do you guys like crinkle cut fries? I think they're pretty good. I'm just a fry guy all around. But I'm not picky. If you put a fry in front of me, I'm eating it. Mm. Eat. What was that? Meat. <laughs> no way. This car needs such a bad car wash. It is crazy. Mm.
almost forgot to give you guys a Sam score. I'm giving this a 4.25 out of 5. Mm. Really quick, like I said, I wanted to chat with you guys while we ate today. I have some exciting news. I am now sponsored by Young LA, so you can use code Zaka at checkout. Now, here's the thing. They have a drop coming up on June 12th that you can use my code. And if you use my code and you send me a screenshot through DM on Instagram, you could be entered to win a $100 gift card to Young LA. Doesn't matter how much you spend. $5, you can spend $1,000. Whatever you choose to spend, as long as you use my code and you send it to me, you'll be entered to win the giveaway. Now, I don't want you to think that I'm forcing you to buy Young LA. If you happen to be on Young LA website and buying things and just happen to use code Zaka, you know, you could also just go to Young LA and purchase something if you want to show some support. These food videos aren't free and I want to just keep giving you guys the best content I can. Enough yapping. Let me give these fries a Sam score. That's a good fry. That's getting a four out of five. I've had, I've had better, but it's really good. Oh, um. And the camera was gonna overheat where it was because the car is extremely hot. Miami is ridiculously hot right now. I walk outside and I'm sweating. It's disgusting. I don't want to leave my house ever. So you get this beautiful angle of me. <sighs> Dr. Pepper, so good. Five out of five stars. Always. You know what I never understood? I used to watch Jesse James eating videos when he did them back in the day. And he'd always say, last bite, best bite. I don't really understand it. It's not the best bite. It's gone. Once I take that last bite, it disappears. First bite is best bite, in my opinion. Last bite, worst bite. Maybe that's just the big back mentality I have. I have moved you to a new location, but now I'm going to give you a little fry montage while I eat my fries. Na, 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 na. I don't know if you could have told the difference, but due to copyright infringement, we cannot continue with this montage. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed that. Now it's time for some dessert. Do you guys happen to have the 13 cookie tote? Yes. Could I do one of those? Anything else? Uh, that'll be all. They made me pull up. I'm assuming that means that they're gonna be fresh because they're baking them up in the oven right now. A few moments later. Bag secured. Well, tote secured. Let's go eat these. The reason why I ended up choosing this was one, it's dessert, and two, everyone's been ranting and raving on TikTok about it. I genuinely didn't even know McDonald's had this, so now I need to be the one to judge if it's worth it or not. I, the cookie connoisseur in me felt as if I need to judge, and I'm judging this purely off fast food cookie base, not off of like gourmet cookies, because that would just be unfair. Oh, wow, the, the view is absolutely beautiful though. I can eat cookies anytime, anywhere, no matter what. I can eat so many of them too. I have a problem. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, they smell so good. They are warm. I was a little nervous because the tote did not feel warm from the outside, but they are warm indeed. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Mm. Wow. Oh my gosh. They are crispy on the outside, like chewy and gooey in the middle. For a fast food cookie, I am so sorry. I just feel like I have to. This is five out of five stars, no question about it. And it costs $6.41 for 13 cookies. I think that's a deal. Yes. Yes, another one. Do you guys hear that crunch from the outer edge? I fear this might be better than Nestle Toll House. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of some videos that will be coming on my channel. I'm gonna be going around Miami rating all the chocolate chip cookies I can possibly find. Fast food and gourmet included. What is this saying? That's a sight for sore eyes. I don't know how many I'm gonna take down, but I'll let you guys know at the end. So they kind of got me because the top few were really warm. The bottom ones feel as if they just, you know, had them made already. I'm not upset about it, but what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna heat them up. I've had three right now so far, so let's go home and make these better. Mmm. 
These things. They're definitely better warmed up. I'm gonna add some flaky salt to these because flaky salt elevates chocolate chip cookies by tenfold. Mmm. I've heard Subway has the best cookies from any fast food place. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had them and if you've ever had McDonald's ones as well. Let me know which ones you think are better. Subway was just not on my radar today. Cookie counter right now, five and a half. Last cookie, this is gonna put me at six and a half cookies for the day. Who would have thought we would be here eating McDonald's cookies and them actually being really good? Last bite, worst bite. And now we wait until dinner. It is currently 3.18. Calories will be on the screen from what I've eaten right now in this past meal and the total calories for the day. See you guys at dinner. Could I have two, three finger combos? And what's the drink for them both? Dr. Pepper. It is currently 7.03. I have secured some Raisin Canes. I haven't had Raisin Canes in a good amount of time now. I'm pretty excited about it. On the drive to Raising Canes, my hunger scale, not gonna lie to you guys, was around a seven out of 10. It was, it was rough, but it just opened up. And now I'm like a four out of 10. So I'm ready to eat and I'm ready to take this down. I got a three tender meal. Now the reason I got a three tender meal and I didn't get more is because I have some plans after this. So I wanna save some space for some dessert because you always gotta have dessert, always. And then I got a Dr. Pepper again because can't go wrong with Dr. Pepper. The one thing I did forget to ask for was extra sauce. So we're gonna be on sauce ration. Mm. Right there, that's some quality toast. I'm gonna save that though. Bread is a, it's just, it's just bread. I'm giving it a four out of five stars. It's good bread. Fries. Mm. Not as good as earlier. I'm going three out of five stars. A little soggy. If you want some Shake Shack, we're better, crispier. Let's get into the reason why we're here, the moment. This chicken tender is the moment. After this, I'm done yapping, I promise. Just hear me out. Have you guys seen those videos on TikTok? It's usually a girl where she gets the huge cup of sauce and she dips the whole thing in there and just goes at it. I don't think I can do that. I just, I don't. Mm. This is getting 4.75 out of five stars. Mm -hmm. A little disappointed in the fries. Oh, this piece is gonna be crispy. See, that's enough sauce. This bread is so good. This is probably the most serious question out of today's video, and I need to know this. There's a lot of chicken spots, a lot of them. Which one are you choosing? One of those questions that sparks a passion out of people because they're just so passionate about their chicken. I would say my place is Raising Cane's, but I know there's PDQ, there's Chick-fil-A, there's KFC, Popeyes. This might be a smaller chain, but Huey Magoo's. I need to know this. I'm changing my rating for the fries. I really can't remember what I gave them before. I'm dropping it down to a 2.75. They're not that good. I am gonna finish with these two fries and then I'm just gonna save space for what I have for dessert. This is what I'm leaving. It's just not worth it to me to finish them. I could eat them 100%. And if they were so insanely good, I would. But since they're not, I'm not gonna do it. That's called self-control right there. Right now, my fullness is about a six out of 10. Just enough space to finish off with dessert. And that's where we're going next. I realized I dropped so much food in this little abyss. Whoever cleans it, they have a future meal waiting for them. A burger, fry, a donut, muffin. Lucky them. Oh, 
So we're at BJ's right now. It's pretty loud, but we're here for strictly one thing and one thing only, and that is the bazookies. On Tuesdays at BJ's, it's $5 bazookies. The crazy thing is it used to be $4, but inflation is just a real thing. Things are just increasing in price now, regardless of where you go. I can't complain that $5 is still a pretty good price for the size that you get. So I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna get a bunch and just share them. It'll end up coming out to us eating about like one whole one to ourselves. I'm excited. It's currently 8.35. So far four have come out. This is the Oreo one. This is the salted caramel, strawberry shortcake. And wait, what did I say this one was? This one was Oreo, white chocolate macadamia. Did I say that? Okay guys, did I? I don't know, it's been a long day. I've eaten a lot of food, but this is why my, my chocolate macadamia strawberry shortcake salted caramel and then we have two more coming out and this is party cookie right here they put the ice cream on it because she said it defeats the purpose and it actually would defeat the purpose if that wasn't on there but so that's the one I'm probably gonna take a few scoops of ice cream from it just looks so good it's birthday cake flavor I don't know if it's a smart idea to start with the birthday cake one with the ice cream just the one scoop but I'm gonna do it mm. oh yeah try you know keep you guys in the loop but I just want to enjoy salted caramel oh the birthday cake one's getting four out of five stars mm. salted caramel 4.5 out of five stars Oreo this one's harder to see mm. can't go wrong with Oreo too 4.5 out of 5 stars. White chocolate macadamia nut. This is one of my favorite ones. Like I thought mm. we did, but like... Mm. 4.75 out of 5 stars. I love white chocolate macadamia nut. I have a little cone. updated for the birthday cake one 2.5 out of 5 stars it's just like a basic sugar cookie i was hoping it had more birthday cake flavor i really want ice cream but i'm not gonna do it It is currently 10.57 and honestly, I'm pretty hungry. I probably could eat something, but since today's only a day of fast food, I'm going to just not. So we're ending with the calories on the screen. That is what we are at today. Next time, maybe I'll try to go for a little bit more. I don't know. I'm, I definitely could if I had fast food available to me and I didn't have to leave my house and I don't really care to Uber Eats anything right now. So we're just going to call it there. I'm going to give you guys a little recap and a outro tomorrow because I'm exhausted. I'm hungry, but I'm exhausted. I'm calling it at 10.58 and I am going to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for joining me on this full day of cheating. At the end of the day, I ended up eating around 8,000 calories. And to be honest, I probably could have ate a little bit more, but at the end of the night, I really had to question what was fast food because technically fast food, anything that can just be consumed fast, I was gonna have some cereal. I was gonna have some ice cream that I bought from Chillin, which is a pretty fast foodish ice cream place, but I didn't wanna do it. I didn't wanna risk eating something that wasn't fast food. But with that being said, I have been getting a lot of comments about the 10,000 calorie challenge. Okay, I've only gotten two comments about it, but if this video gets 10,000 views, I will attempt the 10,000 calorie challenge. So share this with your friends, but if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you happen to stumble upon younglay.com and you wanna show some support, definitely use code Zaka. I hope you're having a great day whenever you're watching this, wherever you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one.